Hello children. Hope you have done question number 1, 2 and question 3 of exercise 5.1 in your register. Today we will do question number 4 and question number 5. Okay, now let's do. Question number 4 is find the product. A part is 23 multiplied by 40. Here we will multiply non-zero numbers first. That is we will multiply 23 with 4. Okay, 23 multiplied by 4 is 92. So, our answer is 23 multiplied by 4 is equal to 92. Now, see, here one 0 is there. Now, we will write 23 multiplied by 40 is equal to 920. It has one 0. So, we will add one 0 on the extreme right side. Okay. Now, let's move to B, uh, B part. B part is 380 multiplied by 200. 318 multiplied by 2. First of all, we multiplied non-zero numbers. So, our answer will be 636. Now, it, it's the same thing I have written here. 318 multiplied by 2 is equal to 636. Now, let's write proper question. 318 multiplied by 200 is equal to 636. There are two zeros. So, we will add two zeros on the extreme right side. That is, now our answer will be 63,600. This is called product. Now, remaining parts of question number 4, you will do yourself. Now, let's do question number 5. Question number 5 is, find the product using expanded notation. A part is 7 multiplied by 95. Here, we will distribute 95 into 90 plus 5. We will write in expanded form. This number which is in 2 digit or in 3 digit. The single digit number we will write in the same way. And the, if the number is in 2 digit or 3 digit, we will expand them. See, in our previous class, we discussed about properties of, of multiplication. In properties of multiplication, there is one property we have done that is distributive property. In that property, I explained you that how we have to distribute them. So, in the same way, we will distribute 95 into 90 plus 5. In a very simple words, we will expand them. Okay. Now, our next step will be, we will multiply 7, multiply 90. We will put them in one bracket. We will put the sign in the middle. And we will multiply this 7 again with this 5. Okay, this step is clear. After this step, we have to multiply these two numbers. See, 7, 9 is a 63 and 1, 0 is there. In the previous question, question number 4, we did question in the same way. So, 7, 9 is a 63, 1, 0 is there. So, we will write 1, 0 on the extreme end. So, 630 plus 7, 5 is a 35. Plus sign is there. So, we will write the, the same sign. Here also. There is multiplication. There is a sign of multiplication. So, we will multiply it. Okay. Now, we will add these two numbers. We can add them horizontally as well. Now, let us add. 5 plus 0 is 5. This is on tens place. 3 plus 3 is 6. Now, there is no number on hundreds place. Here it is 6. So, we will write 6 here. So, our product is 665. Okay. Now, let us move to C part. B part you can do yourself. C part. 845 multiply 8. Okay. Now, 8 is smaller number. So, we will write 8 here and we will write 845 this side. Okay. Now, let us distribute 845. I told you that we have to expand it. So, we will write it in expanded form. So, 845, let's write 800 plus 40 plus 5. Now, there are, we have distributed in three parts. In the same way, we have to multiply again. We will multiply it in three parts. Here, two bricks were there. So, we multiplied two times. Now, here are three numbers. So, we will multiply three times. Now, 8, 8 are 64, two zeros are there. So, we will write two zeros on the right side. 8, 4 are 32. 
one zero is there, so we will write one zero here. Eight fives are forty. Fine. Again, we can add horizontally also. Fine. If you are not able to add horizontally, then you can add vertically also. And make a rough column on the right side of your register. Then you can do there. Okay. Otherwise, it's not so tough. You can add it horizontally as well as ones, tens, ones, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Just add according to places. Now let's add ones place. Zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Now tens. Four plus two plus zero. Four plus two six. Now four plus three. There is there is no number here. So four plus three is seven. And this is only six. So six here. So our product is six thousand seven hundred and sixty. Fine. Now let's do E part. E part is. 1982 multiplied by 6 again let's write 6 here and 1982 next to it now let's write 1982 in expanded form that is 1000 plus 900 plus 80 plus 2 now let's multiply 6 multiplied by 1000 in first bracket Plus sign in the center. Now six multiplied by nine hundred. Again, sign of addition. Now six multiplied by eighty. Sign of addition. Now six multiplied by two here. Fine. Next step is we have to solve the brackets. Six ones are six. Three zeros are there, so we will write three zeros here. Six times are fifty-four. Two zeros are there, so we will write two zeros. Six eights are forty-eight. One zero is here, so we will write one zero. Plus six twos are twelve. Now we will add them. Okay, you can add them horizontally or you can add them in this way vertically also. So for adding vertically, just make a draw a line on the right side of your register and do all wrap up on that portion. Now add these four numbers and you will get the answer. So our product is eleven thousand eight hundred and ninety-two. So that's all for today. So remaining parts of question four and question five are your homeworks.